good afternoon, everybody. Right now, I am standing on track three of the Times Square Grand Central Shuttle, except it's not the track. It's just a slightly different color of tile. Because yes, while it has been open for many, many months, I am here to see for the first time the new Grand Central Times Square Shuttle route, but also to do something a little bit more gimmicky to make this video just quite interesting. To time how long it takes to walk what is now, I believe, the longest transfer in the entire subway system, and that is from 42nd Street Bryant Park all the way to the Port Authority bus terminal, specifically the A train exit at 44th Street. I believe that is the longest distance you can walk underground in a subway station that, you know, is a continuous movement and not weaving back and forth. Uh, and I'm going to test that out. Alright, so I am officially on the far end of the 5th Avenue 7 train platform. Now, in reality, you would never make this transfer, walking from the 7 all the way to Port Authority bus terminal, because you could just take the 7 train one more stop, make the transfer much more easy. But let's say that you aren't thinking, or trains are delayed, or whatever, and you just really need to get on the front of that uptown A, C, or E train from the back of a Hudson Yards bound 7 train. Well, let's see how long it takes and how long of a distance it is. I have my workout app up. I'm gonna try the track location. It might be a little bit inaccurate, but we'll see what I can do. And it's time to walk the longest transfer within fare control between two New York City subway lines that are different in the system. Let's go. back into the sort of main Times Square complex, uh, walking up to the A, C, and E trains. Oh boy, did I get myself turned around? Yes, I did. Went in a little bit of a loop, so that's gonna add a little bit of time. Uh, but yeah, we're just walking through here and uh, past the vaccination site, which you should definitely go to if you're not vaccinated. here on the staggered platforms of Port Authority bus terminal on the A, C, and E. And let's take a look at what we got. Pulling out the phone. Still not at the end of the platform, but honestly at this point, I don't think there's any harm in stopping it. But right now, pretty incredible. We walked, I walked, 14 and a half minutes, three quarters of a mile, that is officially the longest transfer you can make. <sighs> I'm gonna catch my breath. All right, and there you have it. That is officially the longest in system between two line transfer you can make on the subway. Took me 14 minutes and 20 seconds. I walked three quarters of a mile. And uh, you know, needless to say, don't make that transfer. Just take the 7 train and then walk, you know, probably about a third of that because it is quite a long walk no matter what. Um, so yeah, there you have it. And all thanks to the new shuttle project. Um, if you're ridiculous like me and have extra time, then maybe you should go check it out. But otherwise, now you know. I think that is, I believe, the longest transfer. I don't think that there's a single one that could be longer than that. It, you know, it's basically, you're going halfway across Manhattan. So... I am going to go get something to eat because I just, you know, I, I just did a workout and I will see you guys in the next video.